Uh, when they first told me it was a possibility it was cancer, I didn't know what to think. When they first tell you that, your world kind of just flashes in front of your eyes. It's all a blur, really. <laughs> I just didn't think it was possible. It was a big shock. Uh, Goose Bay is a lovely place. Not big, there's only about 7,500 people there. Gently rolling hills, <laughs> long cold winters, beautiful, beautiful warm summers. Kayla's a typical teenager, she had lots of friends, she loves outdoors. She's a winter person, she likes to be out on her snowmobile. I, I wasn't even feeling sick, we just noticed the little lump that was out on my throat. Family was feeling the touch of the flu, so we thought it was that. And then a couple days after they got better, my lump wasn't gone. So we went to the emergency. Within 12 hours, we were medevac in St. John's. I was diagnosed on December 24th with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's a cancer in the lymph nodes. The distance from Goose Bay to St. John's is only about an hour and a half by plane, but I mean, you're looking at a 20 to 24 hour driving time. They told us we had to stay here for about four to six months doing cancer treatments, chemotherapy and radiation. The first trauma is really receiving the diagnosis that your child has cancer. But then the second trauma is really finding out that in order for your child to receive the treatment they need, uh, you essentially have to relocate on a semi-permanent basis hundreds of miles away. We didn't know where we were going to stay. The Ronald McDonald House called and told me that they had a room available for us for as long as we needed it. It's amazing to have a place like this available for families who need it brings back some normalcy to a very abnormal situation. People are wonderful. They're there to talk to if you need someone to talk to. They're there to laugh with you. It makes you feel like you're at home. For the last six months, this has actually been a home away from home. Took a lot of stress and worry off of our shoulders so we can concentrate on the, our daughter getting better. I would have curled up and probably give up long ago facing what she had to face. You gotta be strong to go through something like this. I think so, anyways. Me and my dad were always really close, but it's definitely brought us closer. <laughs> Looking back now from December, thinking, oh my God, this is never going to end. But now it's only not even two weeks away. I don't even believe it half the time. It's just too exciting. She's just been so amazing through this that, uh, that I mean, I'm so proud. And I mean, I I'm actually looking up to her now.